So this film will look in at a technique that will add a kind of string effect to a portrait. Um, so basically we're working on either um, a kind of a full face is the easiest thing to do on a dark background, or we're going to be using a full face on a lighter background. So uh, in this technique, uh, basically let's um, throw away these um, parts to begin with. The first thing we need to do is um, kind of um, duplicate a background. So control J to duplicate the background. Um, then what I'm going to do is um, make a mask and I'm just going to uh, invert that mask. So in other words, control backspace if black is my background and come back into layer zero now. And I'm going to go and create a solid color. So in other words, solid color, I want it to be black. Just press an okay. So what we've got now um, technically is this bottom original layer being blocked by the solid color, no blend modes in here at all. We've duplicated that uh, original layer to create this top layer. Um, but if I just shift click that to kind of hide the mask a minute, you, you, you can see it. But what we've done is added in a black mask. Now, just by uh, selecting B for brush and in the brush tool, uh, we really want to have something between about five to 10 pixels, depends on the resolution, depends on how fine you want this to be. Uh, I've even tried it lower than five pic pixels. Uh, but what I'm gonna do is select onto the black layer mask. And at this point, start to just vigorously move the mouse in any direction that I want. And by doing this, um, you're gonna start to find that the portrait uh, begins to appear. And because we're working onto a black background, um, it's it's just beginning to appear um, by itself and things really. Okay, so you, you can see we're having to be quite vigorous. I would say that if you're using the likes of a pen tablet instead of uh, what I'm just using is the mouse, uh, you're going to have some kind of good effect kind of uh, appear straight away and things ready uh, because obviously you can be a little bit more vigorous. Um, I haven't tried mixing the different size brush. So if you think about, um, you know, as a kid, there was like a scratch boards. So there was basically uh, white below or silver below or colors below, and then they would lay black ink on top and they would allow that to set. And then you had a scrape pen and you'd actually scrape off the top black to reveal the color below. And you could actually draw that. You could buy kits where there was already the pattern above that you start, you started to kind of reveal what is going to be the kind of the picture. And, and that's really what we're technically doing here. And you can be as, you know, uh, vigorous or in instant as you want it and things really. So the good news about this, if you wanted to create once and then copy it across, all we would really need to do is to save the likes of one image with a mask. And at this stage, we don't even need the, um, uh, the, pic uh, the picture. And then we could actually just refer back to this image to copy it. What do I mean by that? Um, so if I select onto the layer zero here for a minute and I press control click, that makes the selection of these um, kind of brush marks. If I come in onto another Im image, this is what we're going to work on here in a second. But if I just go ahead and I delete all of these, yeah, let's repeat the process. So we want to have a solid black color. We want to select the background original image and we want to control J that to duplicate it, move it above the black. And at this point, I want to make a black mask, just pressing the Alt as I click onto here, and we've got the black mask. And now, um, because um, I've uh, created that selection here, yes, if I copy that selection and I select the black mask and I paste it on, yes, and then I Alt backspace to the background, you can see what I've done. So let's just repeat what I just did there for you so you can see how it worked. So I pasted 
the scratches from the other image. You can see as soon as I paste it, created a new uh, layer because I was on a mask. Now we're going to control click onto the scratches or the brush marks, select onto the black uh, mask. And now I hit the um, alt backspace and that basically uh, deletes that strokes as it were. Control D to deselect it. And then we basically switch the actual um, top layer off. So you can see what we could do is go and copy that layer, bring it in to here, then control click it, and then work in exactly the same way with it. So you could actually make it into a bit of an action for you to work the base, uh, the basic. Once you're here, of course, then we could start to kind of add extra marks in to make it a little bit more kind of special to that one image. As I said, the finer the uh, brush, the thinner the kind of the string line is concerned. And then I wanted to kind of go a, a next stage with it and things really. Let me just bring in a little bit of this shoulder and neckline because she's on kind of quite light there. So we can bring her up. So just bringing that through. Let's add a little bit just into the top of the hair here as well. As I said, you can make it as vigorous or uh, as negative as you want it to be. And you can obviously go in and actually erase anything that you don't want. Um, then let's um, kind of take it to another level. I don't need this top layer now, so I can just delete that one. Um, but let's make a new layer based on all visible layers. So it's shift control alt E and that will give us the kind of the uh, image now. So this is as it stands. Yes. Um, now let's try and add some color to it. So if we, with this layer one selected, if we go into the new adjustment layer and we go to solid color and we go and choose the teal is quite nice. Okay. And then we start to associate this. We clip it to this layer one, as it were, we just alt and just hold between them and that will assign, sign it towards here. Now we can start to actually change either the blend mode of the color. Yes. Which is probably the quickest way for you to play around with, to begin, uh, begin with, or perhaps if you wanted to have, um, separate kind of uh, effects uh, instead of making the blend mode change here as long as you've got the other images still visible below you could select layer one which is the one that we made new layer of all visible and we could actually go in and basically change um, the different effects here and things really so again depends on the look that you want with it but I think that is a, a technique that anybody is going to have a bit of fun with. And uh, again, it might be one that we forget and we don't use for a while, but it's definitely one to actually get in and have a little bit of a play day with the likes of Photoshop. Hope you enjoyed this technique.